Yo, 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 what up, though? Sydney Star in the building. How you doing? How you doing? I'm doing great, fabulous, highly favored. Haters hating me, lovers are loving me, and that's all that matters. I keep everybody with my name in their mouth, so I'm doing great. I see. Yeah, you've been turned up, piped up all over the blogs lately. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, doing what you do best, you know what I'm saying? And I appreciate you sitting down with me. I'm, you know, I'm excited for this journey. Just to hear your journey. Yeah. You know, we get to get your opinion. And have, or hopefully at the end of this all, man, we all come on boy, kind of educated and a little bit more insight on Sydney Star. That's the whole idea. Now, Sydney, Chicago, na Chicago native, South Side. What was it like for you growing up on the South Side of Chicago? Um, I will honestly say, to be honest with you, I am so thankful that I'm still here to this day because... It was a lot of ups and downs. I was in transition at 14. I gotcha. started very, very young. So I was taking the bus, running into who God knows who. Some people, what made it so easy for my transition, though, only thing that made it easy, I was so feminine looking. A lot of people didn't know. They just thought I was a skinny little girl. But the people that did know me, they definitely tried to make it hard for me. So, for example, I'm out. Someone that knows me, they'll be like, y'all know that's a dude, right? Y'all know that's a dude. Very, very dangerous for me. I'm just standing on the bus stop by myself. Yeah. like, And that happens. I don't know what somebody think that they might want to do to me. So, it was. I've been in situations like that very, very, very many times. There was one time I was on the bus and it was around Halloween. And that happened. And these guys were throwing eggs at people and stuff. So I didn't say a word. So I guess they were informed about what I was. So when they were walking off the bus, one of them threw an egg at me. And it hit me on the side of my neck. And I was like, oh, my God. Like, what did I do to deserve that? And I knew it was because I was who I was. Gotcha. And that, that really sunk into my heart. Like, damn. Like... These people really don't like you for who you are. And this is Chicago. And I have to get on the bus every day to go to school back and forth. So it was really, really hard. I will say I was a strong little 14-year-old, 15-year-old. And I think that's why I'm so strong today and why I can handle anything that comes my way as far as when people come to my page and talk shit about me, leave nasty comments. And I look at it, I'll be like, okay blocked like okay you think i'm a nasty man looking tranny what oh okay i've been told bad things by better people like just stuff like that i just don't i'm not phased by it because if i can go what i went through from 14 to 18 years old with that time frame i actually wanted to commit suicide at one time of that time wow. frame oh i can deal with anything right now literally only thing I probably wouldn't be able to handle I'm literally the strongest. If only thing I probably would handle is if somebody shot me with a damn gun. That's the only way I'd be out. Well, if you keep doing parties in the South Side of Chicago, <laughs> <laughs> sit down. Then it might happen, right? No. It might just be an accidental bullet. Hey, man, y'all be playing out here. 